Christie sending in the cavalry after a rash of attacks at synagogues in Bergen County. The FBI is involved, and now so is New Jersey's Homeland Security Department. For a community on edge, that is certainly some welcome news. CBS 2's Christine Sloan live in Rutherford with the story. Christine. The governor will be dispatching several people from his homeland security to a big meeting tonight with Jewish leaders. In the meantime, investigators tell me they have good evidence in the firebombing of the synagogue behind me in Rutherford that had a rabbi and his family running from flames. It really hit me that like I'm lucky to be alive. Manuka Schumann is only 15 years old and she has had to endure a vicious attack on her home and temple. I got saying fire, fire, fire. And he grabs a fire extinguisher and he runs back to um, his bedroom. Despite the ordeal, the daughter of the rabbi who had a Molotov cocktail hurled into his bedroom inside Congregation Bethel has been remarkably strong. They tried hurting my family, but God protected us. Her father says she's been the family's strength through this nightmare. And we turn the radio on and hear about these anti Semitic attacks, and I'd be like, this is insane. And then like my house like was attacked like the worst. There have been four bias attacks at temples in Bergen County in just the past month. Two in Maywood and Hackensack are connected. As for the rabbi's temple, he thinks someone knew he has no surveillance cameras. They might have taken advantage of the week. Similarly, what happened in Paramus it was a low um, low profile synagogue. That's why the Jewish Federation will meet with community leaders tonight to talk about security. The most recent one raised the stakes quite a bit for us because personal lives were at stake and it's simply an unacceptable red line for us. I'm appalled by these acts of anti-Semitism. They have no place in our society. Security is tied at Congregation Bethel now. With police checking anything suspicious, the rabbi says he's been getting lots of support, including from churches from Atlanta, from Texas, all, all over the world. On Saturday night, ministers from local churches will be coming to the synagogue to support the rabbi in what they call a celebration of unity. We're live in Rutherford, New Jersey. Christine Sloan, CBS2 News.